Alrighty, what is up everybody? It's Luce Tony, aka the Life Strider. And yeah, we're gonna continue on right over here and just, you know, continue the main storyline. Check it out. Uh... I think we might have found our man, and he's a gaudy one. Yeah. I'll roam around later. Let's see what's the deal. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Wall Market. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Dom's front door. Especially men. How about me then? Can I go inside? Maybe, but you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud? Requesting permission to kill. No. Denied. <sighs> Denied. If you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. If you're hell-bent on getting in, then go bother the trio. You guys are a trio, though. <laughs> Alrighty, never mind. Alright, let's go, Aries. Now we can scout what's over here. Alright, here's a little treasure chest. Bottle of ether. Let's see what's on this side, nothing. Alright, let's check out the other side. Nothing. Alrighty, we're good. We are good from here. Aerith. You sure about this? If you've got any better ideas. Not really. So that's the way it is. Hmm. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. <laughs> Seems like a good guy, though. Ooh, a handsome payment. All right. Huh? Now to find the ends. Not too familiar. Actually, I could try out the inn because I know it's over here. Welcome. Are you in need of accommodation? Have a safe trip. Uh, I guess not. Okay. I thought that would do me something. No preferences. We can't accommodate. No, sir. Alright, I guess we're gonna go to the mini map. Because we can't really find. So, where are the shady areas? Alright, here's our Sam. Not you two again. Told you once, I'll pay you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now, scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? 
I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Cornell will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> yes, wrong. And you'll leave me in peace. Thanks. Oh, not a gambler, huh? I am heads. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> tail, you lose. Yeah, I should have picked tails. I should have called it first. Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Cornell's cup of tea. But, if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, and not just a Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Haha. <laughs> Double heads, huh? Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Interesting. I don't know what would have happened if I put tails in. I probably still would have lost, but I honestly was gonna pick tails. I guess they're closed right now. Better with the daytime. When does the daytime come? Johnny, John, this the place? I just wanted to see Andrea. Think so. Curse my Let me handle will. this. But you wait out here, like, okay? Then why would I Ooh, do I that? Pasta. No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that. You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Oh my lord. Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, 
but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. I'm sorry that I couldn't be of more help. Hey, are you nervous too? You bet I am! This is the first time in my life sitting in the premiere section. It took me over half a year to save up for this. This is gonna be amazing. Oh gosh, here we go again. Are there even that many people here for the line? Waiting time to be that long? I don't think so. What do I know? Oh, that's right. I can't go here unless it's daytime. Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is <laughs> this your first time in our establishment? Mm -hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... She noticed the eyes. Hmm. Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> if you're not a customer, then get out. Ready to take the plunge, are we? So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. And wait. Cloud? I should warn you, this technique has certain risks. Huh? It's somewhat experimental. You may find it extremely pleasurable and rewarding. Or the opposite. Uh, wait. Absolutely not. You asked for this. Now take it like a man! <laughs> what is happening? Everything hurts. You'll enjoy it more next time. Do come again. How was it? Not now. Maybe not ever. Did something happen to you in there? 
just, just give me a sec. Just one? Uh, well, Maybe a few minutes. I was so bad that I switched characters. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Think you'll make a habit of it? Then, I think I've seen everything I need to see. So, tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm. Okay. Really? But, you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Are there any prize money? <laughs> yes. For the person who got you in. So, what do you say? Alright. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. Remember, you are going to win me that money. All right. I wonder what would have happened if I picked the other options. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence. You don't get too cocky, okay? Line in an orderly fashion. No pushing. Where are they? Oh, oops. So, what are you betting on? All right. Just in case this takes a long time, I'm gonna be ending it here. So yeah. Um. Yeah. This was the trios. Uh, please like and subscribe, and yeah, on to the next part. It's Lucitoni, aka the Life Strider. I'm out.